What I've, what I've done in, in my book is to look at what is really the essence of rest and what are the activities that people find most restful. And in the research we did, um, we asked people which activities they found restful. And I, I've counted down the top 10. And what is really striking is that the all things that people tend to do own. Um, uh, reading is actually number one, which is interesting because reading involves some effort, but it also takes you off into other worlds and away from your own thoughts. And I think that often what we want to do in order to feel rested is to stop those thoughts whirring around and around in your head, particularly the, the worries that can wor uh, go around and around in your head that you can't get rid of, those anxieties. And something, uh, an activity you find truly restful will stop that happening for you. And it will be different for different people. And so it's a question of trying to work out which are the activities that you find really restful. For me, it's gardening. I just love gardening. And I now deliberately, if I'm particularly if I'm working at home, I in the middle of the afternoon, if it's not raining, then I'll deliberately go out for 15 minutes and just potter about of winter in the garden dead heading things and and i can feel the waves of relaxation coming over me now some people hate gardening so it's not that that should be for everybody the other sorts of activities people found really restful were um having a hot bath came at um number seven um going for a walk um just age simply daydreaming and i think what's interesting about these activities is some of them are ones where it needs to be something where you don't feel guilty doing it and can allow yourself to do it. And I used to feel guilty going and uh, pottering about in the garden when I should be working. And now, having seen, read all this research on this, I don't feel guilty now. I think, well, this is good for my mental health. I'm going to do this. And this slightly resets me again and gets me ready to carry on working and that this is good for me. And I'm not going to feel guilty. It's a good thing. It's like going to the gym mm -hmm. um, and it's a question of finding the combination of activities that are the most restful for you and it doesn't have to mean lying on the sofa doing nothing which many people find very difficult sitting still doing nothing so um, it could be um, in fact going for a, a run so eight percent of people told us that they found running restful 15 percent found exercise restful and for some people they can't switch off those thoughts going on in their mind until they've exerted their body a bit and so if that's the thing that that makes you feel better and I think particularly if people are working from home then getting out is so important and guess gets you know easier as the um, evenings get lighter um, but it's so important to to get away because you would have had that journey to and from work and also it's really important to decide when to stop work because particularly if you're working from home there's no reason to stop why not just carry on and the boundaries between work and not work have started to get more and more blended and I think that's difficult for people because then we feel we can never quite uh, rest. So I think it's a question of finding the activity that is deeply relaxing for you. It could be listening to music. It could be, um, some people find mindfulness really helpful, others don't get on with it so well, but it's a question of trying out the different things and then trying to carve into your time 15 minutes to do that thing without feeling guilty about it.